Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and this is the next video tutorial of online chatting app uh, in uh, ASP.NET Core. So in the online chatting app, uh, in the last video tutorial, I have already discussed about the token service that is completed by using the iToken service and the token service. So you can see in the token service in the last video tutorial, we have clear, we have uh, detailed uh, described. So here we have get token async and security token descript, uh, descriptor, JWT token handler and JWT security token handler and JWT security token handler to write token. So here we have a just return back in the form of the string a token will be available. So uh, in this video tutorial this time going to uh, about the uh, con accounts controller. So in the accounts controller the first method that is register. Just I want to say that uh, everyone want to register in the website. So here we have register is the method and in the register method here we use a register view model. There is register view model and these entries are filled by the end user. So in the accounts controller you can take it uh, register view model. Okay and you can say that uh, view model. Okay, so instead of view model, you can take that is model. Okay, and uh, in the you can use public asynchronous uh, task of i action result, and in the i action result, you can take single parameter that is register DTO. Okay. So in the register DTO, uh, here we have a register DTO and uh, in the register DTO you can take, you can uh, you can see here we have using chat app dot view models. So in the register view model and register DTO class inside it you can take just return that register DTO to the user back. So in the user um, we have email, token and the gender. Okay. So in the accounts controller here we have that like of uh, method you can say okay and that method actually written okay there's some line of code you can say so uh, type of uh, i action result uh, abstractions install package microsoft asp.net core dot mbc chapter uh, abstractions so in the later session i will cover it okay so in this video just i'm going to add this line of code like uh, user exist the first line of code uh, just i'm going to describe await user exist user exist is a method by using this you can check the email that is already exist or not so if it is exist then return bad request if user exist that return true of this mail then return bad request otherwise by using the mapper class so just i uh, use the mapper i mapper and uh, just convert that model into the application user and that return the application user class. So here we have application user class that is available in chat app dot models and mapper is actually registered with this uh, as a dependency injection. So um, private uh, i mapper okay and underscore mapper here we have and you can say that imapper is actually exist in auto mapper and you can say just add this line of code also you can use um, user manager also here we have a user manager uh, with the application user class application user so inside it you can take it imapper and uh, user manager so private uh, user manager with the application user class okay so here we have user manager so in the application user class here we have using microsoft dot asp net core dot identity so here we have now private oops you can say private sign in manager 
sign in manager with the application user class and similarly you can use uh, that is i token service so private i token oops I token service and that is actually exist in chat app dot services underscore token service that name is actually exist oops that is the name token service so here we have token service and you know that the register view is there so here we have a register DTO so just you can use register DTO instead of register view so register DTO and underscore token service is not uh, solved underscore token service okay so here we have oops underscore token service what happening okay uh, underscore okay so uh, everything is okay now just add this uh, dependencies in the constructor to initialize this and generate constructor this line of code okay so here we have imapper mapper user manager application user user manager sign in manager application user sign in manager i token service token service mapper user manager sign in manager and token service so here we have register register view model model and so by using this line of code you can check the email that is already exist or not the next one is user and just model that is uh, here just convert into the application user and after that user you can just uh, pass that username from the email so here we have now uh, register that user by using the user manager so user manager dot create async so here we here you can use user as well as the password so model dot password right here so you can check the registered is succeeded is not succeeded then return bad request if it is succeeded then just add to role in the member so user manager dot add to role that user is uh, uh, registered as a member and role result dot not succeeded then return bad request role result and after that you can just return the uh, register DTO uh, 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 to the client uh, so here we have email token and what token actually available so that just token service dot get token async and just pass that uh, in the user okay so also here we have a gender so model dot gender so uh, here we have just create a user exist method so here we have now there now just add a user exist method right here so uh, just paste it here private async task bool bool that is checked uh, that is available or not so string email uh, that is available or not so await user manager dot users dot any async uh, x dot email email dot to lower so just check it um, as any async is actually exist in control dot entity framework core so microsoft dot entity framework core so resolve the problem and then now the next one is that is the problem so just use control dot again and install package that is microsoft asp.net core dot mvc dot um, and you know that uh, package is actually available in 7.0 but uh, not one just i want to use install with the package manager and here we have microsoft asp.net core.mvc.abstraction and that package is actually available latest version is 2.2.0 so fine so just accept it okay so everything is fine now just go to the next one oops oops there is a problem so here you can say that uh, just remove this i action result okay with the action result and here we have so just add register uh, form and just return that register dto with the uh, email with the register dto that is email 
token and the gender okay so everything is fine now you have to register that service like uh, now after the registration process you must have to go for the login process so just uh, copy that function uh, and just copy and make it first function and here we can that register with uh, okay and but here you can say login okay and just start it now after that you have to create a login view model and just add a new class that is login view model in the view model folder so here we have a utility and there is a no models and services view models is there so add a new view model add a new class and the name is login view model okay and everything is fine now add email and the password so prop string email and the next one is prop string password okay so everything is fine now just go for the uh, here we have login so so here you can see that just put that code here we have register view and what is the register view register dto right now so here we have register dto so uh, http login that is the form name that is login and you can say that http post with the register okay so here we have http post with the register okay so everything is fine now and just after that you can see the first thing is the login view model that uh, that have username i mean to say that email and the passwords so by using the user manager dot users dot single or default email that is login dot login view model dot email is matched if it is matched i mean to say that application user is double equals to null then return unauthorized user if it is matched then i mean to say that we have some uh, authorized user and sign in manager you can use dot check password sign in async so here we have sign in manager dot check password sign in async so in the application user and login view model dot password and lockout feature is that is false okay if not result dot succeeded then unauthorized otherwise return register dto okay so so everything is fine now in in this mail here we have email token and gender okay so everything is fine now uh, email token and gender okay so that is the login view model and that is the login feature okay 